breaking news. Welcome to Lafree's Concept TV. Here is the headlines. President Tinubu Nigeria is sitting on keg of gunpowder. President Tinubu Nigeria is sitting on keg of gunpowder. To my dear listeners, before I go into details, ensure you like, subscribe, and share. Now the details. Between 1993 and 1998, unarmed Nigerians challenged the military after the annulment of June 12, 1993 elections to quit the political stage. The Nigerian military rolled out its tanks to kill protesting Nigerians, demanding for a democratic rule. That did not doubt Nigerian citizens as they continued until the military left the political stage on May 29, 1999. In the year 2000, during the administration of Chief Olusegun Obasanjo, he visited the Niger Delta region, Ephraim to be precise. As usual, Chief Olusegun Obasanjo spoke derogatorily to the people of the region. He totally ignored the degradation and neglect of this region by every government. The environmental hazard they faced didn't matter to him. Their complaint over the years was a ruse as far as he was concerned. In the middle of his speech, late human and environmental rights activist Oronto Douglas walked up to the president on the podium and struggled the microphone from him. Of course, there were security officials, police, SSS, Army, Navy, Air Force, bodyguards, etc. At that moment, they were confused on what and how to intervene. Now, in firm control of the microphone, Douglas declared to then President Obasanjo, "This is the Niger Delta. This is the Niger Delta, and not Abuja." He told Mr. President to command his security aides to open fire and pray to be alive to tell the story. Chief Obasanjo was shocked and perplexed. He looked round, saw Niger Delta militant youth in their hundreds with sophisticated weapons in competition with the president's security guards. The boys were daring. They looked prepared for action. They took positions and perhaps were waiting for instructions from their commander. It was the interventions of governors Depri A, Alemie Sega, James Ibori and Pital Odili. Leaders and elders of the community who calmed the charged situation and took control. In 2020, some Nigerian youths without any clear leadership mobilized themselves via social media to protest against police brutality. The Nigerian police have always over the years brutalized and in some cases killed citizens with reckless abandon. No government have acted seriously against such extrajudicial murders by the police. The government usually looked the other way as if the police have the administrative and legal powers to torture and kill Nigerians as it pleases them. Lawyers, journalists, civil society groups and well meaning Nigerians have cried out against such brutality on citizens by the police. 
police headquarters, and Ministry of Justice have, at several locations, been petitioned with no positive result. Rather, the police, the police come out emboldened. The youth, through social media, mobilize themselves to protest against these brazen activities of the police. It was codenamed and says now. Many did not many did not give the Nigerian youth any chances of successful mobilizing and holding such massive protests that shook the country. In most states of the Federation, there were protest matches, rallies calling for the scrapping of the special anti robbery squad of the police force, SARS. Though it sounds violent in some cities leading to the burning of some police stations, cutting away of weapons and destructions of public properties. Some policemen, citizens were maimed and killed in the process. Now, in July 2024, news filtered round that there would be 10 days 10 day protest against hunger and bad governance tagged and bad governance. It was built to begin from August 01 across the country to be led by Nigerian youth. Again, like in the answers, there was no identified leadership. This protest, according to the organizers, was basically to alert the government of their frustration and disappointment. They are angle and angle in the midst of plenty. To push the government to rethink their economic policies and reduce their excesses. August 1 came and indeed there were street protests in some major cities of Nigeria, especially Lagos, Kano, FCT Yobe, Katsina, Port Harcourt, Niger Kaduna, etc. Despite the federal government and security agencies' initial propaganda 